Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment, it's just a phase. The eight phases of the moon in order. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a shoebox, a box cutter, a ruler, black spray paint is optional, and a white ball. So I started with my shoebox, and I selected the optional black spray paint. So I'm just spray, spray painting the inside of the black box to have a better viewing of the eight phases of the moon. Then we need to cut eight holes on the side of the shoebox. And I got the measurements right here on the side. Um, it's two by two squares, a half inch up, quarter and a half inch in between. So you go ahead and you can freeze that and get those measurements. Every shoebox is going to be a little bit different. Now take your box cutter and be very careful. As you know, they're extremely sharp. You're only going to cut three sides of each square, two by two square. So once you have those marked, you're going to do three, and we're basically just making it up, open up windows on there so we can view uh, the moon through these different windows. So we're going to have that option uh, by having the ball inside the box, and it, hence having the optional black spray paint on the inside is going to make us help, help us look and see the moon a lot better. So go ahead and push those out, and so it looks like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the other ones without showing you because I don't think I need to show you all eight. So here's three of them, and I'll show you what it looks like after I get the other eight out. There's the measurements again, so you can always freeze that and look, but all shoe boxes are gonna be different, and so your sizes are going to vary. You just wanna be able to make sure that the ball isn't too high and it fits into those holes. So you got one on each end, and you've got uh, three on each side, and make sure that they're all facing the same direction. It kind of helps when you're going around in a circle um, to view it. So there's the top view. Um, I ended up painting the outside of the box too. I don't know why I did that. So now for the experiment, I have a, a cue ball, uh, if you play billiards, um, and I put a little uh, cap, water bottle cap, uh, uh, to hold it up, and you put it directly in the middle of the box, and you close it, and then we're able to do our experiment. According to NASA, the moon travels a distance of 382,400 kilometers as it orbits around the Earth during a 29.53 day lunar cycle. Throughout its travel, the moon waxes and wanes and even becomes invisible for us for a short period. The eight separate phases are recognized during the lunar cycle and each one of them can be enjoyed in the comfort of your own porch. I start off with a fl small flashlight facing the ball, uh, cue ball that's in the middle, and then I go to the other side, and that's the new moon. The new moon's between the Earth and the sun, and the side that's being lit is facing the sun, seeing the dark side, which means we're unable to see the moon in the night sky. This is called the new moon cycle, and it's considered the beginning of the moon phase. Phase 2, the waxing crescent moon. The moon travels eastward in the sky, and a few days after the new moon, we can see a slight edge, or crescent, in the moon and lit by the sun. The common term is a phase that's a waxing crescent. Waxing meaning it's the growing larger or fuller. The third phase, the first quarter moon. The first quarter moon is the term used to describe the waxing moon that is exactly half lit. The moon is now one-fourth of the way through the lunar cycle. The fourth phase is the waxing gibbous moon. When the larger portion of the moon becomes illuminated, it is called the gibbous moon. Fifth phase is the full moon. At the full moon, the moon's face is completely bright and we'll see an entire circle in the sky. During this part of the cycle, the full moon rises at almost at the same time as the sun is setting. The sixth phase, the waning gibbous moon. The light on the moon begins to wane or grow thinner and once again we see the gibbous shaped moon. In this case it's referred to the waning gibbous. The seventh phase is the third quarter moon. The third quarter moon phase is when the moon is once again half lit. However this time the left side of the moon is lit instead of the right side as the first quarter. The moon is now three quarters of the way through its cycle. The eighth phase is the waning crescent. The last phase of the lunar cycle. The moon appears to be a sliver in the sky before it becomes dark again. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please click the thumbs up below or share this video. Thanks for watching.